Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, let us see some important questions in module 5 of basic electronics and communication engineering subject. So let us see 10 important topics. Here the first one is the very important concept for exam. It is explain the cellular telephone system. You can see any wireless communication subject question paper. This is the one of the important question they repeatedly ask in exam. Here, the cellular telephone system is represented with a block diagram or a schematic diagram like this. It consisting of cells we can say that is connected to MSC with base station and then PSTN stationary phone. So this need to be explained briefly by mentioning what is mobile station, what is cell, what is base station, what is MSC, PSTN like that. This is very important for exam. The next question is again with respect to the wireless communication is concerned the concept of cell and frequency reuse. Uh, as you know, this is what one cell and we can reuse the frequency with the adjacent cell if it is having a distance of D like this. So this need to be explained with these two expressions and a little bit of explanation related to what is cell, what is cluster and what is the frequency reuse need to be explained with these figures are the representation of a cell and cluster. And then the next question is on again wireless communication that is channel interference and handoff. This question is also asked many times in wireless communication subject that concept is introduced here. So it is again important for the exam purpose. Here uh, we need to explain what is channel interference. There are two types and then handoff concept also. There are two types of handoffs. Then comparison of wireless communication technologies. So in this chapter, we have understood what is 1G, 2G, GSM, CDMA, and then 4G, 5G also. So we need to compare all these with respect to what is the facility they have provided in 1G, and then what is the drawback of that, again, what is improved in 2G, and what is the drawback of that, again, 3G, 4G, 5G need to be explained by comparing each of those. So here with respect to the speed is concerned, we can say, what are the facilities we are going to get? and AMTS, DAMTS, GSM, CDMA, we can compare the technologies. This might be asked in the exam. And then as I said 1G, 2G, 3G is concerned, they may ask to write the architecture. If 1G, 2G or GSM like that if they ask, we need to write these AMPS, DAMPS and GSM with respect to those technologies are concerned. They may ask to write what is the important technology in 1G or directly they may ask AMPS or to explain DMPS or generally the GSM architecture. Even if they ask 2G with some relevant diagram, you can write this GSM and DMPS. Like that you need to answer. This question may come. And then explain evolution of GSM, UMTS and LTE. Here this block diagram is very important. Some concepts of how actually the evolution is and uh, this will be called as long term evolution that is LTE. Uh, this circuit with little bit of explanation and expansion for what is G E R A N U T R A N and uh, then what is circuit switched and uh, packet switched network. These things need to be written here. So Bluetooth is also important concept. How Bluetooth will connect with other uh, Piconet and Scatternet need to be explained and few technical aspects like bandwidth. What is the distance the Bluetooth can cover? that need to be explained with respect to master and slave technique is concerned. Then basic elements of satellite communication, this is very very important. So satellite communication, OFC, microwave communication block diagrams are there and different types are discussed. So it is very important to write the block diagram. Here the question may come uh, like what is uplink and downlink also and different orbits how we are going to categorize the satellites and the specification with respect to those need to be explained. And then the next question is on OFC. This is very, very important again. Satellite communication, OFC and microwave are very important here. And one question may come out of these three. So block diagram and explanation need to be written here also in OFC. It is good to write how OFC is going to transmit the data. And then block diagram of microwave FM transmitter and receiver. Here we have two block diagrams. This, this question may ask separately like to explain the block diagram of microwave FM transmitter separately and FM receiver also separately. And if they combine these two, the explanation required might be less or if they ask separately need to be explained in detail. So these are the 10 important questions 
you may get in exam out of these 10 this OFC satellite communication and the concept of cell and frequency reuse and uh, cellular telephone system is very very important and again these are some more important questions we can make out of this unit 5 thank you